Okay, guys, welcome to Stafford High School of Science. I'm Mr. Cargill. Uh, of course, most of you know me. I live just down the street, and you see me around town doing whatever I do. Uh, and I want to say welcome to science. Um, it's been kind of a challenging few weeks, months, and so, and it's going to be a challenging few more weeks or months, but it's all right. We'll get through it. But I want to say welcome because I find science fascinating. I always have. When, when I was a young person to today, I find, I mean, I, let me ask you, let me ask you, how many of you find blood just like, oh, this is cool stuff, blood. You know, you like, some people go, oh, that's blood. Oh, it looks, you know, it's red. Yeah, well, but blood is actually really cool stuff. And if it wasn't for blood, well, you wouldn't be alive, but that's beside the point. It, it does amazing things. But let's go on. Uh, I've always loved science. And, you know, every, every kid loves science. Everybody wants to know why. You know, why does it do that? Why does it act that way? You know, I always use the two-year-old, you know, when you go, we're going to go for a walk. And they go, why? And you go, because I'm tired of sitting in the house. And they go, why? And you go, well, because I've been sitting here all day. And they go, why? And it's because, well, I have to do these type of things. And they go, why? And they go, well, I get paid. And they go, why? So we can eat. Why? And finally, you just go, stop. Just, just leave me alone. But that young person is really a scientist. They keep asking why. Why does it do that? Why does it behave that way? When I was a kid, I, you know, some of you know that I have a real fascination with snakes. Uh, when I was a kid, I loved snakes, big snakes, little snakes, brown, pink, blue, whatever. I just loved snakes. That was my thing. And, and I can remember going to the counselor and they said, what do you want to do when you grow up? And you go, I want to work with snakes. And, you know, they go, oh, you, you, well, first of all, you would have to know who my counselor was. And she wasn't proud of the fact that I wanted to work with snakes. But, you know, she goes, really? And you go, yeah. And she goes, what are you going to do with snakes? And I go, I don't know. But I want to work with snakes. And, you know, she goes, well, maybe you ought to take some more math or something. You know, she goes, I don't know. What do you do with snakes? And some of you are that way. Some of you are looking at jobs that I may not recognize as, you know, really great jobs, you know. But I need to tell you. Snakes have got me around the world a couple of times. And so, you know, if, if you become good at what you're doing, there's, a, there's jobs for people who know snakes. And uh, there'll be jobs for whatever you choose to do, as long as you're really good at it. That's, that's the key, is being dedicated, being committed. And that's what science is, giving you the opportunity to be really committed. When I was a kid, I used to lay outside. I, and, and maybe some of you have done this. Lay outside on your back and look at the stars. And, and not actually look at the stars, but look at the black stuff in between the stars and go, what's the black stuff in between the stars? Why isn't it green? Why isn't it blue or purple? Why is it black? You know? And what is it? Is it nothing? No, there's stuff there. What is it? And why is it black? And then why does it go away when the sun comes up? Is it still there? I mean, when we look up, is it still there and we just don't see it? Let me ask you, when you sleep at night, when you close your eyes and go to sleep at night, do you still see? I mean, your eyelids are, you still hear. Somebody comes in and goes, hey, you, you still hear. You know, somebody pokes you in the face, you go, hey, get it. You still feel. So when you close your eyelids at night, do you still see? Is it, what is sleep? Why, why is it that, you know, sleep's important? Why? Do our eyes need a rest? Does our brain need a rest? Why is it we have to sleep? And, and I can prove to you that you have to sleep because you can go through a process of called sleep deprivation, and it's a really a psychological problem. So you have to sleep, but why, you know? So as we go through science, I want you to think to yourself, why? Why does it do that? And I want you to ask why. Ask me why. And, you know, I, I probably won't be able to answer it. But you have all of the information in the world at your fingertips. You're different. When I was a kid, 
you wanted to know something, you went to the library, you went to the little card catalog, and you got an old stupid book, and you opened that. Old, and it's okay if you can read, but if it's like me and you can't read, then, I mean, you know, I'm dyslexic. So reading and writing is not my strong suit. And all of you in my class know that. And you open up the book, and, and all the information there, but you have to glean it out. Man, you live in a world where technology is right at your hand. You have all the information in the world right in front of you. You can learn anything you want to learn. You want to learn how they can tomato soup? There's a video, I suspect. You want to learn what an I2C interrupter is? I know there's a video for that. You live at the world where all the information in the world is at your fingertips. And we said it in a classroom and in that classroom we re, you know spurt out information and we expect you to regurgitate it whenever we ask you to i would like to change the model of science here i would like for it to be something that you find interesting that you look forward to you shouldn't have to say oh i've got to go cargo's class now and that's what y'all say oh, i gotta go down cargo's class i don't want you to say that i want you to say man i get to go science next and this is what I'm doing in science. I'm changing the world, at least my world. Anyway, that's welcome to science, I guess. Um, as you come in and we go through this situation, some of it's online. I understand that. That's not the perfect situation. I got that. But it doesn't mean you can't go outside and, and investigate the world. It means that you may have to do it by yourself. But, you know, you can, you can still do science. It's not because, well, I have to sit in the classroom and wait for the Zoom to show up. No, you don't have to. I'm willing to let you work on stuff you want to work on. You know, some of you are fascinated with cars, and that's great. Do you know how cars work? Do you? What? When you put that little key in the ignition and you turn it on, what does that mean? What does it mean? Why does the car start? Oh, you're going to say because the battery's good. Now, that's not why the car starts. No, sir. No, sir. Because I can start a car without a battery. But that's another story. Anyway, what do you think? We're about there. So welcome to science. I really want to work with you. I want to make your experience in science something that's unique to you. If you want to look at snakes, let me know, because by golly, I tend to be a snake expert. And so if snakes are your thing, I'm your guy. Electronics, I really like electronics. And actually, I'm pretty good at blood. So if though any of those things are something you're fascinated with, that's great, because then I can be part of it, you know. If, if you're like, ooh, I really am fascinated with volcanoes, that's going to be kind of hard. I mean, we're going to have to do that virtual because, as far as I know, there's not a volcano in Kansas. And please know, I don't know that there's not a volcano in Kansas. There may be, but I don't think so. Uh, so, you know, we'll learn together. Anyway, if I don't know, we'll learn it as we go. We'll learn it together, which is great. Well, looking forward to seeing you in class. This is just our introduction to science. You're you're going to be uh, receiving some other emails from me. You're going to do classroom procedure. You're going to be receiving a syllabus. I want you to do this first, though. The syllabus is a guideline. Science is a big field. If you're, if you're interested in gas combustion engines, I can make a science class in physical science for you. I'm not going to be able to hardly make a life science, I don't think. And I'd have to really think about it. Maybe I could even do a life science. I don't know. We'll make it, we'll make it fit you. So, anyway, looking forward to seeing you. Come to class. I love seeing you drop by. So, come to class, and we'll get started in science, and we'll see what happens. It, how far off can we go? Huh? All right. Talk to you next time.